Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a new feature called ability to post detailed vendor and customer payments but summarize amounts to bank account. I will talk about this feature and explanation in detail. Before I do that, I want to make you understand why this feature is very much helpful, what problem statement it will solve in Dynamics 65 and in business. Let's see. So, assume there is a customer company as a customer master in Dynamics, which you know we have sent one invoice of rupees 10,000. There is another customer master which is a customer sister company of this first customer. Here also I have sent or we have sent invoice to as a 30,000. However, both these customers are separate customer in Dynamics. But in real life, in real scenario, both customer, <coughs> I mean, coming under or comes under the same company. So as a result, this customer will pay the whole amount 40,000 in one go. They will not send from customer company one and customer sister company. Instead, they will send the payment to us for both the invoices in 40,000. So this issue will result and sometimes it result in bank reconciliation. Why? Say in bank transaction form in Dynamics, we will have, you know, <clears throat> two transactions because we need to settle both these invoices. So one transaction we need to settle with invoice one 10,000, another will be invoice 10, invoice two with 30,000. So as a result, both, I mean, bank transaction form will show one transaction in 30,000 and another transaction in 10,000. However, when we will receive the bank statement from bank, that will show us 40,000. So that will result in bank reconciliation. That is the, you know, the main challenge or problem statement I will say. However, by this feature, this issue will be resolved. Let's see how we can do that and what is the change in dynamics. So now I have enabled this feature and after this and before I go to the next step, I would like to add that this feature is applicable for customer and vendor payment both. So I will show only on the customer side, but the same possibility is there from the vendor side as well. So the next part, the prerequisite is we'll need to go to the cash and bank management parameter and then under the number sequence we need to add one number sequence maybe you can create a number sequence and add this number sequence in here so this is a new one bank transaction summarization id this will help to summarize and add this number sequence into the summarization transaction after this the possibility i will show now in the customer payment journal and vendor payment journal we need to configure such things so maybe i will go to general journals and journal names and here i will select say customer payment so here you will notice one new option has been added which is under bank summarization account summarize account in bank summarize amounts in bank account and if we enable this this option will be you know activated which is summarization criteria <coughs> we have four options which is do not summarize if we click on do not summarize this feature will not work in this payment journal if we select default criteria the default criteria is like method of payment and bank account and other <coughs> you know which is matching then only uh, this transaction will be summarized and default criteria with document number that means if the same bank account is used with multiple vendor and customer account but the document number is same then only it will summarize and another is default criteria with payment reference <coughs> so payment reference is same bank account is same but customer and vendor account is different then it will summarize here also if you hover this criteria are defined here you can just have a look so i have only selected default criteria which is you know <coughs> uh, method of payment 
and bank account is same then it will summarize so here I have uh, enabled this one I will now go to the customer payment journal and I will show you how it works uh, I will not create new one because uh, in the interest of time I have created one journal with two different customer account but same bank account so if I click on view details it will directly end up in the bank and we will see the transactions which is you will notice it is only coming under this bank only one transaction but 40,000 in payment journal that was two line 30 and 10 since this feature is enabled it will come as one journal if you notice the voucher number will come as asterisk the question is why it is asterisk because here we cannot or dynamics cannot fit two voucher details and instead for that they have given a option called view summarization details here you will see two different transactions so that is the whole change is about now what problem it will solve i will show you if i go to you know this bank reconciliation i have created an imported one bank statement Okay, I will unmatch this one first. So now you will notice the 40,000 is under bank statement because the parent parent company has paid and in dynamics also it is coming as 40,000. So that is the you know, main problem which has been resolved uh, in this version by this feature. Previously it was like this. I will show you what was the problem. So if I go to this one, I have created this before I enabled this feature. So if you notice the 1 lakh 10,000 is bank statement transaction and here no 1 lakh 10,000 it is for 60,000 and 50,000. It was very much, you know, uh, cumbersome that user was not able to understand which transaction to settle against this transaction bank statement transaction. So that is all about this change. I hope you have understood uh, this feature and which and it will help you know to reconcile with ease for the users okay so that's all about this feature thanks for watching stay tuned